Okay, welcome to our lecture online, and now let's do an example of what we learned in the previous video, that the percent ionization does depend on the initial concentration of the acid. If the initial concentration was small, a large percentage, ionization will take place. If the initial concentration was large, a much smaller percentage of the acid will ionize. Okay, so here we have an example. We have hydrofluoric acid. We start first with a concentration of 0.6 molar, and then we'll do the problem again with a concentration of 0.06 molar, only 10% of the original concentration from before. The ionization constant for hydrofluoric acid is 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4. And again, the definition of percent ionized, it's the ratio of the final concentration of the hydrogen ion divided by the final concentration of the acid times 100%. So the approach is pretty well the same in, each, in any one of these types of problems with acids and bases. We can simply say that the, um, I'll start off with the equation, that hydrofluoric acid in an aqueous solution will ionize uh, to a certain percent uh, and result in a concentration of hydrogen ions and a concentration in the associated conjugate base. All right, and we don't need to put the minus one. one. Minus is good enough. All right, now, again, initially we start out with a 0 0.6 molar concentration, and we have zero and zero concentration there before the reaction starts. After the reaction takes place, the change is that this will be reduced by a certain amount x, and this will be increased by a certain amount x, so that the final concentration here would be 0 0.6 minus x, and here would be x, and there would be x. Now we can say that the ionization constant, K sub A, by definition, is equal to the product of the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the um, conjugate base divided by the final concentration of the acid remaining in solution. So in this case, this will be equal to x times x divided by 0 0.6 minus x. And so again, let's assume that x is a very small number, less than 5% of the original concentration. If it is, we can go ahead and make the assumption that this is about equal, approximately equal to x squared divided by 0 0.6, and that has to equal to the um, ionization constant of 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4. So once we get the final result, we'll check to make sure it's less than 5%. If it is, then this is an acceptable approach. We'll only be out by a very small amount. All right, that means if we solve it like this, that x squared will be equal to 7.1 uh, times 10 to the minus 4 times 0.6 equals, so that would be 4.26 times 10 to the minus 4. So that's multiplying 0.6 times this gives us this, and therefore the square root of that will be 0 0.0206. And now let's go ahead and find out what we have here. So percent ionized will be equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion, which will be x, so right, this is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion. And that would be, um, we could simply write the number, 0 0.0206 divided by the final concentration of the acid, assuming that it's pretty well close to 0 0.6 times 100%. And that would be equal to, so divide by 0.6 equals, and it's equal to 3.44%, less than 5, so that's acceptable. We can go ahead and use that result. All right, well, let's do the very same problem again, but now let's we'll start off with a smaller concentration of the acid, which means that we'll expect a smaller concentration of the um, I should say a small concentration of the hydrogen ion, which therefore a smaller percentage ionization. Okay, so let's do this again. So the whole thing is the same as before, except now we say that the case of A, which is equal to the product of the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the conjugate base divided by the final concentration of the acid. And of course, I was writing the general thing here, but this is hydrofluoric acid, so HF. And uh, so this is equal to x times x divided by 0 0.6 minus x. Oh, not 0 0.6. We have a lower initial concentration, so 0 0.06. And that would be equal to k sub a, which is 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4. All right. Again, we'll make the approximation 
that x is very, very small compared to the initial concentration 0 0.06. If it's not, then we'll have to go ahead and solve the quadratic equation. So we're going to make the assumption that x is much, much smaller, and we indicate it like that, than 0 0.06. So question mark, we don't know, we'll check it out. Okay, if that's the case, we can say then that x squared divided by 0 0.06 is equal to 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4. So let's try that. So we have uh, 7.1 e4 minus times 0 0.06 equals, and so now we have x squared is equal to 4.26 times 10 to the minus 5, is that correct? Ooh, let me try that again. I don't think I did that right. 7.1 e to the 4 minus times 0 0.06 equals 4.26. Ah, yes, yes, okay. I was off by 1. Okay, to the minus 5. Notice how that has changed. Notice that x squared was equal to this before with that initial concentration. Now you can see that x squared is equal to this with this new initial concentration. So let's take the square root of that. That means that x is equal to 6.53 times 10 to the minus 3. There we go. All right. Now, that is, of course, equal to the initial concentration, or I should say final concentration of the hydrogen ion, which we can now find the percent ionized. So percent ionized is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion divided by the final concentration of the hydrofluoric acid times 100%, which is equal to 6.53 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by the concentration right here, 0 0.06, and times 100%. Let's find out what that's equal to. So divide by 0 0.06 equals times 100, ooh, that is 10.8%. That's bigger than five. All right, so is that the expected result? So here we have 10.8%, here we have 3.4%, so a greater percentage of the acid was ionized. Is that correct? Well, let's look, take, a look, take a look at our chart here, and you can see that for smaller initial concentrations, we expect a larger percentage ionization. So that's what we do see, smaller initial concentration, 0 0.06 instead of 0.6, and yes, a larger percentage concentration. However, 10.8% is not the correct amount because, notice we cannot take this uh, approximation here. This approximation is only really valid when the percent ionization is less than 5%. So what we need to do instead to get the exact number is to use and solve the quadratic equation. So we can make this approximation. This is not correct in this case. So if we do this again, we end up with the equation that says x squared is equal to, so we have x squared right here, is equal to this quantity times that. So that's equal to 0 0.06 minus x multiply times 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4, which gives us the following quadratic equation. So we get 0 is equal to x squared. Now, this times this gives you minus 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4x. And this times that, let's see here. So we get 0 0.06 times 7.1 e to the 4 minus equals. And we get minus, oh, plus. Is that correct here, x squared? No, that will be plus and this will be minus. Minus. 4.26 times 10 to the minus 5. So, we know that we had the right tendency there, but not the exact correct answer. So we're going to solve this quadratic equation, which means that x is equal to minus 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4, plus or minus the square root of 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4 squared, minus 4ac, well, the, because this minus becomes a plus, minus 4 times 1 times 4.26 times 10 to the minus 5, all divided by 2a, which would be 2. All right. Now, let's see what that equals. 
So we have uh, 4.26 times that, that times 4 plus 7.1 e to the 4 minus squared equals, take the square root of that, and, hmm, okay, so let's see here. Let me try that again, because I think I might have done the wrong thing here. 4.26 e to the 5 minus times 4 plus 7.1 e to the 4 minus squared equals, that's correct, take the square root of that, and so, hmm, so this is equal to 0 0.0. 0, 1307 minus this, minus 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4, all divided by 2. Now, this is such a small number, but I'll go ahead and subtract it. So, minus 7.1 e to the 4 minus, I don't think that changed that a lot, divided by 2 equals, and... All right, so the final answer for x. I'm running out of room here, but let me come up here so we know that uh, x is equal to 6.18 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, so that's the final concentration of, the, uh, of x, which is the final concentration of the hydrogen ion. And so finally, to get percent ionized, that is equal to the final concentration of the hydrogen ion divided by the original concentration of the acid times 100%. So this is equal to 6.18 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0 0.06 times 100%. All right, we're almost there. So divide 0 0.06 equals and it's 10.3%, 10.3%. So notice, this is the correct final number or the correct answer for the percent ionization, the percent ionized uh, uh, acid, instead of the 10.8. This is what we got when we did the approximation, which is not valid because this was greater than 5%. So by using the, by actually using the uh, quadratic equation and solving for x. That way we get the more accurate result of 10.3%. Nevertheless, still greater than the 3.44% because we had a smaller initial concentration which causes you to have a larger percent ionization of the acid. And that's how we do that problem.